Welcome to my Edpuzzle video on dilations. So today I'm going to use a Pear Deck to help you better understand dilations. And you're going to use your worksheets for slides two and slides five. So this is slide one. It says, which choice best explains how to dilate triangle ABC by a scale factor of three? So select the best answer. Okay, welcome back. Let's see if you selected the correct answer. You should have selected multiply all the coordinate pairs by three. So the question didn't ask you to do this, but I'm gonna review how you would dilate this by a scale factor of three. So our strategy was to write down all the coordinates. So the coordinates of A would be one, negative one, the coordinates of B would be 3, 2, and the coordinates of C would be 3, negative 1. And remember, scale factor means to multiply, so we would multiply each of the coordinates by 3. So my new A would be 3, negative 3, if I multiplied them both by 3. B prime would be 9, 6 and C prime would be nine, negative three. So see if that makes sense. And then of course, we would graph them as well if it asks us to graph them. Okay, let's move on to slide number two. And this is a question that you're gonna need your worksheet for. So go ahead and get your worksheet ready and I will read slide two. It says, sketch a dilation of the quadrilateral below using a scale factor of three. Remember, our strategy is to write down all the coordinates. And remember, scale factor means to multiply. So you're going to multiply all the coordinates by one third, or we said multiplying by one third is also the same as dividing by three. So go ahead and sketch the dilation. Okay, let's look at your paper. Well, compare my answer to your paper. So, write, the first thing you should have done is write down the coordinates. So, A is 3, 6, B is 6, 9, C is 6, negative 3, and D is 3, negative 6. And then remember our strategy was multiplying by one third or dividing by three. I'm just gonna divide by three. So three divided by three is one and six divided by three is two. So I got one, two for this one. B prime, six divided by three is two and nine divided by three is three. So this was what I used to divide by three. And then C prime, six divided by three is two and negative three divided by three is negative one. So I divided both of these coordinates by three. And D prime, three divided by three is one and negative six divided by three is negative two. And now you had to graph this. So see if your graph matches my graph. Start at the origin over one up two and that would be A prime. B prime was two, three. So right here, over two, up three. C prime was two, negative one. So over two, down to negative one. And that's C prime. And D started the origin over to one, down to negative two. And that was D prime. So now I'm going to, uh, whoops. Well, I'm going to try to connect the points. There we go. And of course I changed it to white. So that was a very bad idea. There we go. And notice that the parallelogram shrunk in size because the scale factor was between zero and one. Okay, let's move on to number three. 
Select the image that is a dilation of ABCD with a scale factor of 2. So you're going to pick green, quadrilateral 1, red, quadrilateral 2, pink, quadrilateral 3, or orange, quadrilateral 4. See which one you would pick. Okay, let's see how you did. So our strategy is to uh, list the coordinates. So you were looking at ABCD, the blue one, and we were writing our coordinates. So 1, negative 1, B is negative 3, 3, C is negative 4, 1, and D is negative 2, negative 1. Now, scale factor means to multiply by 2. So if I do 1 times 2 and negative 1 times 2, I would get 2, negative 2 for my A prime. My B prime, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and 3 times 2 is positive 6. So I would have negative 6, positive 6. And C prime is... I would multiply negative 4 times 2 and 1 times 2, which would give me negative 8, 2. And then finally, D prime, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So I'd have negative 4, negative 2. If you look for those coordinates, I see negative 8, 2 here. I see negative 6, 6 here. Negative 4, negative 2 here. And I see negative 3, well, oops, sorry, negative 2, 2 here. So it would be orange. You should have chosen the orange quadrilateral. So let's move on to question number 4. Now, remember, I should have probably said this before you did the last one, but the blue one is the original one. So you're going to select the image that's a dilation of the blue figure, ABC, with a scale factor of one half. Remember, scale factor means to multiply by one half, or the shortcut is to divide by two. So is it the pink triangle, the green triangle, or the orange triangle? Pick the correct one. Okay, let's see how you did. So the strategy is list all your coordinates. So 1, negative 2, 4, 6, and 4, negative 2. Now, because the scale factor is between 0 and 1, I know it's going to reduce in size. Okay, it's not going to flip or turn anything. It's just going to look the same but reduce in size. So that would eliminate choice two. So it's between choice one and three. Then I would write down my primes and I would divide each letter or each coordinate by two. So let's start with letter A. Half of one or one divided by two is one half or 0.5. I'll just use one half. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, so 1 half negative 1. B, half of 4, or divided by 2 is 2, and half of 6 is 3, so 2, 3. And remember, taking half of a number is the same as divided by 2, so you'll hear me say both. Half of 4 is 2, and half of negative 2 is negative 1. So I look for those coordinates, and I go over a half down to negative 1, so it looks like it's the orange one here, but let's be sure. Over to 2, up to 3 for B, and over to 2, down to negative 1 for C. So the correct choice was the orange triangle 3. Okay, let's move on to the next question, which is number 5, and this time you'll go back to your uh, worksheet, and you will do this one on your worksheet. So it says if triangle ABC were dilated by a scale factor of one fourth, where would the image of point C be located? So I'm going to give you a couple of hints here. First of all, scale factor means to multiply by one fourth, but since it's a fraction, I can instead of multiplying by one fourth, I could divide by four. 
and I only have to dilate point C. So when you do this, make sure you only list the coordinates of point C and dilate point C only. Okay, let's see how you did. So hopefully you wrote the coordinates of C because that'll make it a little bit easier. And remember, the clue I gave you was to divide by four or multiply by one fourth. So negative eight divided by four is negative two and four divided by four is one. So you should have had negative two one. Remember when you're writing an ordered pair, you need to have parentheses and a comma between the two numbers. Okay, let's move on to question number six. So before we do number six, I'm just gonna review a couple things as a few reminders here. Remember um, what happened in this slide here, the figure shrunk because the scale factor was between zero and one. And remember the very first one here had a scale factor of three and remember the coordinates got larger so the shape would have grew in size because the scale factor was greater than one. And I want you to think for a second what would happen if the scale factor was one. And now what I want you to do is answer the questions that follow. Okay, so let's see how you did here. Um, remember when the scale factor is greater than one, the size of the figure is enlarged. When the scale factor is less than one, the size of the figure is reduced. And remember we said more specific, it's between zero and one. And when the scale factor is equal to one, the size of the figure is unchanged. So hopefully you got those questions. And this brings us to the last one, question number seven. It says the quadrilateral shown is enlarged by a scale factor of two. What are the new coordinates of point A? Now remember, you only have to dilate point A and the scale factor is two. So let's see if you remember how to do this. Okay, let's see how you did. So because it was only point A, those are the only coordinates you had to list. So start at the origin, negative one, negative two. And because the scale factor was two, that means multiply each coordinate by two. So you would get negative two, negative four. Hopefully you had the parentheses and the comma between the two numbers. That concludes our Ed Puzzle on dilations. I hope you have a great day.